Jeff Speakman was born in Chicago, Illinois. In high school, he excelled in sports and became an All-American in springboard diving. Speakman became a big fan of the TV show Kung Fu. He became interested in martial arts and started to study Goju Ryu. After eventually gaining a black belt, his master told him he should train under Ed Parker. Parker was the founder of American Kenpo. He became a teacher to the stars, and one of his most well-known students was Elvis Presley. I met Elvis in 1960. I was putting on a karate demonstration. He was doing a picture there with the Tuesday Walls called Wild in the Country. Uh, he happened to be residing at the very hotel I put the, put the demonstration on. And lo and behold, after the demonstration was over, he came up with his entourage and said, I don't think you know me. But my name is Elvis Presley. I felt it. Jeff Speakman sold his car and moved to California so he could study under Parker. Speakman eventually became a black belt in American Kempo in 1984. In 1988, Jeff Speakman broke into Hollywood with a small role in the horror film Slaughterhouse Rock. He followed that up in 1990 by playing a security guard in the Jean-Claude Van Damme film Lionheart. Speakman finally got his starring lead role in the film The Perfect Weapon, directed by Mark DeSalle. The film is about a Kempo practitioner who takes on the Korean Mafia after the murder of his mentor. The movie was a moderate success and grossed $14 million on a $10 million budget. Paramount Pictures signed Jeff to a multi-picture deal, which would have included a sequel to his film and the lead role in the film Speed that eventually went to Keanu Reeves. The deal, however, eventually fell through. Mark DeSalle took a liking to Jeff and produced his next theatrical release titled Street Night directed by Albert Magnoli. Where is she? You're not that big. Think about it. The movie is about a cop who gets embroiled in a conspiracy to escalate gang violence in L.A. The movie bombed in theaters and got negative reviews from outlets like Variety, The Washington Post, and The Sun Sentinel. Unfortunately, Hollywood studios gave up on trying to make Speakman a star, and he was pushed to direct to video territory. From 1994 to 2006, he starred in films like The Expert, Land of the Free, Hot Boys, and Striking Range, all low-budget films that were mainly ignored by martial arts fans. Speakman had more success in the world of martial arts. In 1993, he was inducted into the Black Belt Hall of Fame for Instructor of the Year. ...on the sternum. Left eye poke to set up the right back knuckle to the solar plexus. Notice how the head rocks back, and then that gives you the opportunity for the directional harmony back knuckle. Bounce up with a right inward elbow, turns his head to the right to open the target for the groin. In 2009, he received the Silver Life Achievement Award at the Master Hall of Fame, which he was inducted into. Every year, Speakman holds a training camp for American Kempo. Since retiring from film, Speakman was diagnosed with throat cancer in 2013. Thankfully, he successfully recovered from it. So where is Speakman now? These days, Speakman runs an association called Kempo 5.0, which he integrates ground fighting techniques into American Kempo. So why didn't Jeff Speakman become a huge movie star? The first reason is his lack of screen presence. While he is a great screen fighter, he lacked the charisma other action stars like Van Damme and Stallone had at the time. Screen presence is extremely important to audiences, and failing to connect with them is a detriment to your acting career. The other reason was movie star competition was just better. Van Damme, Jackie Chan, and Steven Seagal were ruling the box office in the 1990s. Jeff Speakman didn't offer anything new or unique to steal away martial arts fans. The one interesting caveat is to imagine what would have happened if Speakman got the starring role in the movie Speed. Would he have become a breakout star or would the movie have bombed? It is an interesting question to ponder. Thanks for watching. Please remember to like and subscribe.